Hello, this is the second part of the segmentation tutorial with Microscopy Image Browser. In, in, this, uh, in the second part we will continue segmentation of a data set from serial workflow scanning collection microscopy and this time we'll try to segment nuclear envelope. So let's uh, start with opening the data set. So I just select the data set and double click on it. It was saved in this Amira Mesh format which has the whole stack uh, stored in one file. Uh, next to the dataset we have a model, so we can open it by pressing the load button in the bottom of the segmentation panel or from the main load model. Now we can see that we open the dataset and then we have the model of these lipid droplets that we segmented during the previous part of this tutorial. Now we will be interested in segmentation of the nuclear envelope. Um, and uh, there are again a number of ways how it can be done, but I will show you the way we're using the mem membrane click tracker tool and the membrane and the line interpolation. So first we start with creating adding uh, additional material to the model by pressing the plus button. Then uh, we can name this material as nuclear envelope. Now, so uh, for the segmentation, we first go to selection type and then go to magnifying click tracker tool. So this tool allows to trace the the membranes in the data sets for example in order to do that we can get to the we can use the shift and mouse click to define the starting point of a membrane profile and then we can just press the left mouse button in order to trace this profile from the starting to the ending point um, let's find something longer so for example we define with the shift left mouse key at the starting point and with the mouse key ending point and then the algorithm tries to tries to trace the the profile from the starting to the ending point if the profile is quite complicated then it could be it may try to cut through the kind of try to find the shortest way from the starting to the ending point in this case we can just press ctrl z to undo the last step and that one extra points in the on the way how the actual profile is going. If we somewhere we made a mistake, we can press Ctrl Z to undo the last step and reset the point. So now I press Shift C to clear all selection, which was in green, and uh, I will start again. So I'll get to the uh, to the first slice of the data set and then check that uh, the width of the membrane that I want to draw is something like let's say 2 and uh, I use the shift click and then a click to draw a certain profile then I go a few slices further and I repeat the same so I use the shift mouse click to define the starting point and then just a click to draw a profile membrane profile then continue further. So the more, uh, the last step you do in between, the more precise the model gonna be. So, and then it's, it depends if the structures are changing too much, then you probably will need to place the, the points more frequently. Okay, so we halfway through. So for this tool, it's important that the starting point and the ending point of each profile should be at the same slice. For example, now if I put the starting point here and then shift the window so that the starting point actually will be hidden, then the, uh, the algorithm will say that it's the wrong view. So the both starting and ending point should be at the same slice, Sh should be at the same view. So let's continue further. When we finish this drawing, we should check the interpolator. Now, uh, 
the we selected the shape interpolator but since we have some kind of a line profile here I think it would be much uh, it would be better to use line interpolator uh, the only thing we should check we just go, should go in the preferences and then check the, the width of this uh, line interpolator since we use the width of the membrane is two pixels we should probably place the same number here okay now we have this the membrane which is in the, some slices and then what we do we interpolate between the slices using the uh, selection interpolate now if we take a look on the whole on the whole data set we can see that the membrane was quite nicely uh, interpolated it's a little bit uh, thinner than the actual width so what we can do we can uh, we can uh, delay the membrane so basically uh, grow grow it in 2d and for that we define the the size of our growth as for example 3 and that's and then we press shift x button or use this shift and this di button in the selection panel so what happens now that uh, the width of this membrane was increased by three pixels and we'll probably do it once more and then we can see that the membrane the nuclear envelope is pretty good so uh, now we will add this selected area to the material that we created in the beginning so we make sure that the add to in the add to list the material two is selected and then we press shift a button to add now we have the second material if we don't like the color we can always click on this material and uh, set its color and then we can also modify transparency of those materials selections and so on so now when we have this uh, the nuclear envelope segmented we'll save the model going to save model it will save the model in the MATLAB format but uh, we'll also like now to see how it looks like uh, as a surface and then we'll save this model as Amira mesh for visualization with Amira